I mean, stigma's a thing, and we should really just embrace it. It's there for a reason. It, <laughs> yeah. it must be part of our coding. For, it's you know, it's there for. I a mean, reason. part of it is too that like your brain can't just mine can't just know, and you specifically, okay. especially. But nobody, it's like, mine's pretty keeled. Your brain can't just know seven million individual things. No, it you has have to, to it see has trends. To categorize them. Yeah, and so that's, that's why, why we're pattern seeking. This is, and, yeah, you know, this is and, one problem I have with the fucking argument against stereotyping. I'm like, okay, what? how do we navigate life then? How do I be like, oh, that guy, I how, was what, once, do I, what, what, what slurs do I yell when someone cuts me <laughs> off? Yeah. What no, the fuck? No, but like if I see somebody acting a certain way that is very similar to someone else that robbed me, and it, they look shift like you. You see patterns of behavior. You see patterns you mean, like of, they're showing up late or like talking during a movie or something. Or, um, <laughs> no, you fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, like uh, you know, just generally acting shady and fucking. Uh, you know, there's patterns of behavior you have to be able to recognize. It's not like, say, if somebody looks like they're a crackhead. Sure. Yeah, I know what a crackhead sometimes you'll even typically acts like. See somebody from blocks away, and you're like, you "Yeah, know that's I'm a, gonna go this exactly." Way. That's like, what I'm saying. Is like, there, like there's a fucking thing that your brain understands. Yeah. Well, that's where stereotyping comes from. I'm not saying that you should say, "Oh, all you know, fill in the blank drivers are bad," or all you know what I mean. Whatever. Ooh, that's are, what we, I'm are we playing? Mad? Yeah, <laughs> I got, yeah, I got yeah. Some answers fill in the blank. Yeah. <laughs> there's multiple. Um, um, but yeah, I I, I don't like the. Uh, the aversion to you know sort of I was recognizing gonna, I, I was gonna patterns say dis- in reality distracted just, is what I was gonna say. Sorry. Uh huh. Yeah. No. See, that's. I know people thought it was gonna be something else. Yeah. Something misogynistic or and drivers or are uh, bad drivers. <laughs> I was gonna say drunk. <laughs> okay. Drunk yeah, drivers are fits. bad drivers. Yeah. But also, hey, don't stereotype. Some drunk drivers can actually navigate the road very well. I've, I've known done some. it for many years. I was gonna say I've known some personally. Me and Tom. I don't know what's the problem with saying this publicly. Me and Tom have just driven blackout drunk together so many a thousand times. times, dude. Yeah, and it probably isn't good. We don't do shit no. like that really anymore. But um, no, but I've throughout not I, that we like, won't, won't ever. But no. you know, um, it's uh, we we. But there was a period there where, dude, the way we were just driving <laughs> around, just going wherever we wanted yeah. in an in insane, violent blackout. Like, yeah, that was we're lucky. Yeah, um, but, 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 but staying on the road, we're not crashing. We're not doing. We're not. Well, even that's what I was going to say is so, back I mean, in the yeah. day, back in the day when I was, you know, in my early 20s and we were all kind of new to the, you know, getting in bars and shit. I was the designated drunk driver sure. in my group because I was known for the kid, A, not giving a fuck. Kids got skills. But yeah, I was like, every, when we would get to a place and people would remark like, dude, you didn't fucking swerve even from like. A little bit, like you're. That doesn't was it, crazy. Like it was always kind of crack you up because you just said, like you said, and that was kind of what I, the role I had for a long time too, is just because I didn't mind yeah, doing I was like, it, yeah, driving drunk. Fine. I was like, I don't yeah. give a shit. Yeah, but is it always kind of cracks me up when I realize like somebody's like, oh, I can't. Uh, drink and drive and the reason is because they're afraid to get caught yeah and i'm always like what <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, like well then don't get caught yeah just what are you doing can be careful what are you, yeah you know? or get away dude i remember this one time we were fucking dry you remember do you remember did you guys i'm sure you had this phase in your life when you were like it was pre-bar but like post bikes you know what i'm saying so you, somebody had a car sure there was nowhere to drink but you wanted a drink. There's no I'm one's house say available. Roughly between the ages of 16 and 21. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in there. Yeah. There was just all these times. And the, I'm sure you guys did this just like have a case of beer in the car and just drive around drinking beers. Oh, of course. Yeah, so yeah. there's this one time I remember we fucking we're going, we're hammered. And we're like on our second case. It's about five. Because you know why, though? Car. Because you're not allowed to be anywhere. That's, That's what I mean. Fucking Sometimes like, somebody's parents would be gone or something. Yeah. So you'd have like a we'll garage try going to or a some park, shit. The cops will be there in oh, 20 minutes. Possible. You know, yeah. So you had to like, be mobile. Right. 